Ever thought about the olden days and their unusual customs? Today we're taking a trip back in time to learn about how people in the Victorian era dealt with death. We're going to talk about seven special ways they remembered and honored their loved ones who had passed away. First up, we're looking at the big picture. Back in the Victorian era when someone died, there were lots of rules and ceremonies to follow. Saying goodbye to a loved one was a big deal, and people had a special time set aside just to remember them and feel their sadness. Second, we're talking about clothes. Victorians took their mourning clothes seriously. If someone in your family died, you were supposed to wear black clothes for a certain time. How long you wore these clothes depended on how close you were to the person who died. Next up, we're looking at jewelry. Victorians liked to remember their loved ones with special pieces of jewelry. Sometimes, they would even put a lock of hair from the person who died into a ring or a locket. Fourth, we're exploring photographs. Back then, photos weren't as common as they are now. Sometimes the only photo a family had of a loved one was taken after they had died. These photos were very special to the family. Fifth, we're talking about letters. Victorians used special stationery to write letters when someone died. This stationery was usually black around the edges, and the thickness of the black border would get smaller as time went on. Sixth, we're learning about funerals. Funerals were big events in the Victorian era. The fancier the funeral, the more it showed how much the person was loved. Lastly, we're discussing mourning periods. Victorians had rules about how long you were supposed to mourn for. This time was usually spent away from social events, and there were rules about what you could wear. To wrap up, the way Victorians dealt with death had a big effect on their society. Even though our ways have changed, we can still see some of their influence in how we remember and honor our loved ones today. So next time you go to a funeral, think about the long history behind our customs.